Okay, so welcome to our notes on properties of logs. And um, you should have done the math lab uh, before these notes. And in the math lab, you learned the product property, the power property, the quotient property, and the inverse property. Okay, so those four um, properties were covered in the math lab. The one-to-one -one property um, and the change of base property, those will be new. Uh, we'll look at those together in these notes. Okay, so in example one, we're using the product, quotient, and power properties that we learned in the math lab um, in order to find an approximation for the log base C of 100 when we know the log base C of 12 is approximately 0 0.969 and the log base C of 10 is approximately 0 0.898. So I want to represent this value of 100, the argument of this log, as some combination of either 12 um, and or 10. And if you recall, 10 squared is 100, that means I could rewrite this as the log base C of 10 squared instead of the log base C of 100. And then using our power property uh, up here, we're going to take that exponent and move it as um, to the front as the coefficient. Notice that's our power property takes the exponent on the argument, the n, and makes it the coefficient on the log expression. So that's going to leave me with a 2 times the log base c of 10. And we know that log base c of 10 is approximately 0 0.898. So now I can substitute that decimal approximation for the log base c of 10. and evaluate and 2 times 0 0.898 is approximately 1.796 and so the log base C of 100 is approximately 1.796. Okay, when we look at example B we have the log base C of 120, and we want to rewrite the 120 as a combination of 12 and or 10. So we'll notice that 12 times 10 is 120. So we could represent this expression as the log base C of 12 times 10 since 12 times 10 is 120. Okay, then that would be the product property, which is right here, the log base B of M times N, that product, is equivalent to the log base B of M plus the log base B of N. So I can rewrite this in expanded form as the log base C of 12 plus the log base C of 10 using that product property. And we know the log base C of 12, that's approximately 0 0.969. So we'll substitute that. Oops. And we know the log base C of 10, that's approximately 0 0.8. 9, 8, and when we add those together, we'll get an approximation for the log base C of 120, which is 1.867. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. Try examples C and D on your own. And then when you're ready to resume, we'll go ahead and check those answers together. Okay, so we want to represent 
uh, log base C of 5 sixths using a log base C of 12 um, and or log base C of 10. And um, if I were to take 10 divided by 12, I would end up with a 5 over 6 when I reduce. So I'm going to go ahead and make this the log base C of 10 over 12, which reduces to 5 sixths. And then I can use my quotient property, which says the log base B of M over N is equal to the log base B of M minus the log base B of N. So expanded form then using the quotient property gives me a log base C of the numerator, which is 10 minus the log base C of the denominator, which is 12. And then I can substitute my decimal approximations. So log base C of 10 is 0 0.898. And the log base C of 12 is approximately 0 0.969. Those were given. So when we find the difference, that's going to be approximately negative 0. 0.071, and that would be our approximation for log base C of 5 6. Okay, then in example D, the log base C of 72 over 5. We noticed in example C that the 5 um, we could get by taking the 10, dividing that by 2. So if I multiply these both by 2, I would have 144 over 10 and 144 is 12 squared. So I could represent the log base C of 72 over 5 as the log base C of 12 squared, which is 144, divided by 10. Okay, then we'll have um, the quotient property next. So that's going to be the log base C of the numerator, 12 squared, minus the log base C of the denominator, which is 10. And then we can use our power property to pull that exponent out to the front as a coefficient on the log. So 2 times the log base C of 12 minus the log base C of 10. And then we'll substitute in the values that were given. So the log base C of 12 is approximately 0 0.969 minus, and then the log base C of 10 is approximately 0. 898. And then when we substitute that into the calculator, 2 times 0 0.969 minus 0 0.898 is approximately 1.04. And that would be our decimal approximation for the log base C of 72 over 5.